Today I'm going to mod my Nintendo 64, a spare one I've got with this little mod board here. This is called the RGB for all N64, so presumably it works on all models, revisions of the Nintendo 64. The 64 I've got here opened up ready to go is uh, from a, it's a PAL unit, it's an Australian one. You can see here on the case that I've taken the motherboard from that it says Oz on the sticker there for Australia and it's also got EUR for Europe, so it's definitely PAL. Going to be mainly working from this chip here on the motherboard, this video chip here. These do vary from revision to revision, but this this mod board will accommodate this particular chip, and this chip is easier to solder from than one of the other revisions where the legs are a lot closer together, a lot smaller. So a good one to start off on. Anyhow, I'm going to get into it. We'll see how we go shortly. I'm midway through doing the mod now. I just wanted to film this part because I've got to put all the casing and shielding on next so you won't be able to see the soldering work or where the wires have gone. Um, you can see there's a sort of a tangle of wires there. They're not cut to length yet, but see there that all those wires are sold onto the legs of the video chip. And over here we've got a 5 volts to power the RGB board. And then on the back I've just tapped into the pinouts on the AV port there. There's a wire there for sync, red, green and blue. Uh, the trace to the sync line, which has got the yellow wire there, the trace has to be cut so that composite video no longer goes to the output. Instead we're taking sync from the RGB board, which is pure sync by the instructions. Right, on to the next part. The RGB mod is fully wired up and functioning, everything's working. I haven't done the console back up yet because I wanted to test the mod first before I did all that in case it didn't work, but it's fine. Um, the only PAL game I've got is FIFA 64 and it's, it's not the best showcase game, that's for sure. So I had to go inside and dig out some cartridges. I've got a stack of NTSC games there. Got the old converter, as you can see, S SFX64, FIFA in the back, piggybacked in the back with Mario 64 Japanese on top, so that's working, I'll turn it on. Got everything hooked up to the Commodore monitor here. It's me, Mario! Yeah, it's pretty clean. There you go, you can see your scan lines. There. Yeah. That's looking good. See if we can get a game started. No speech there on the Japanese version. Oh, lovely, nice and sharp. Yeah, so that's about it, actually. Um, we've got a PAL 64 in RGB, so it can be done. Uh, the mod looks fine. Might do some more comparisons in the future, but things look quite promising now. So, anyhow, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and um, see you next time.